environmental protection and scarcity of resources, and high-tech robots. At first sight, these two issues seem to have very little in common. That is, however, far from correct. Modern technology is a decisive factor in making the world greener. Saving resources with and through automation technology, that is the objective of the initiative Green Automation. Green automation means that technology helps to use resources more efficiently. This concept aims at two main fields of application. Firstly, the field of components such as energy-saving drives, to name the most important example. The other focus is on optimizing production processes. Here, automation and technology paves the way for competitive, regenerative energy sources. A good example is photovoltaics, for instance, to use the sun for power production. In the past few years, the percentage of power generated by solar energy has constantly been increasing, and so has the demand for photovoltaic plants. Producing these plants efficiently is only possible with completely automated assembly processes. High-performance robots are able to guarantee accurate, quick, and safe production processes from the base material of a solar cell to the finished module. Alone or in teams, they clean, position, solder, and check the material. No other country produces as much solar energy as Germany. In 2009, Germany was able to install 3.8 gigawatt new photovoltaic capacities. That's more than half of what the rest of the world together was able to set up. And the number of plants continues to skyrocket, but the competitors don't sleep, and the end consumer is still paying much more for solar power than for conventional power. We're aiming at grid parity before long, that is to say we'll be able to offer the end consumer the energy from a photovoltaic plant at the same price traditional suppliers do. We want to reach this goal by 2016. In order to be competitive on the market, however, we will have to offer good products at low cost. This will work only with complete automation. The Sun Area Project demonstrates that Germany really has a big solar potential. Professor Martina Klele, GIS technician at the University of Applied Sciences, Frankfurt am Main, has developed a formula. On the basis of roof pitch, clouding, orientating, and shading the solar potential of every roof area can be calculated. On this basis, Professor Klele has created the first solar register for the roofs of entire cities and regions worldwide. There are already regions in Germany where the citizens can easily find out whether their houses are suited for the production of solar energy and what will be the expected exploitation. We have developed our solar register for more than 100 local authorities and it turned out that of all roofs in Germany between 17% in cities and 20% in the countryside are suitable for the installation of photovoltaic panels. This could cover the total of the consumption of private households in Germany. Besides the sun, wind is one of the most important renewable energies. By 2020, wind energy is expected to cover 12% of the global demand for electricity. And here too, automation plays a vital role. Varnishing robots, for example, are doing their circles very painstakingly. Thus, the long rotor blades are evenly coated. So we could achieve a reduction in material and higher efficiency than manual operations would have provided. Robots not only help to save resources, but they themselves become more and more energy efficient. An outstanding example is a new lightweight robot that is currently employed as a prototype in assembling rear axles. With a weight of just about 14 kilos, the little helper has the energy consumption of a toaster. The lightweight robot has an extremely sensitive sensor control. That enables it to perform tasks that require precision, sensibility, and strength, thus enabling the robot to support humans in tasks which require great physical strength. Additionally, the robot is able to switch off in the case a human being approaches, so we do not need protective fences within the factory. Actually, it's not always the big device that helps to save energy. This high-performance engineering computer isn't bigger than a fat paperback but its fanless case is home to four autonomous computers. The little device is connected with a camera and decides with lightning speed whether a product is good or bad. The most interesting feature is that it needs only 5 to 10 percent of the energy of a PC. Adding purchasing costs and energy costs, after a couple of years the computer was practically free of charge. So automation pays off. 
One application is the production of potato chips. Nobody likes chips with black marks. Actually, we have every potato checked by three cameras, computer and software, and then we decide whether a potato is suitable for the production of chips or not. Another application comes from the printing industry. During the starting phase of such a powerful printing machine, the press work is adjusted using image processing technologies, and the consequence that means that we are able to save paper or foil. And saving paper means saving trees. Fast computers and machine vision boost production processes. Cutting-edge cameras are more and more used to make robots see, thus contributing to further improvements in their precision and efficiency. Highly visible with rocking arms or tiny and well hidden, there are many opportunities where automation contributes decisively in making our planet greener.